Pressing the knee and just talking about resolution here and there without proper planning and being realistic might not really help you. If you did good last year, you need to do better to best this year. This new year should be a year of good experiences, new experiences, and exposure for you. You need to see tremendous growth in areas you need to change, okay? So I do this every year where I list out or plan how I want my year to be. And the next thing is for me to be disciplined in order to be able to achieve these goals that I want. So I was able to achieve some of the goals I itemized, like most of the goals I itemized or listed out in my diary. I'm going to that diary, I'm able to tick off some of the goals. Not all, I didn't achieve all the goals that I wanted this year, but I was able to accomplish certain goals, some of the goals that I've already written down or planned out. And even I have to write down in my diary new goals that I was able to accomplish. So the beginning of the year, I started off with focusing on a particular skill and learning everything I need to learn about it. And in the process, I also took a leap in career transition. Now, the highlight of it for me was intern, you know, taking up the opportunity to intern in that role. And that was a whole learning experience for me. Now, one thing about me is that whenever I want to do something, I go up in, like I have sleepless nights to get that which I want done. Learning that skill and taking that internship was the highlight of faith for me last year. So this year, I have divided all I want to do into the following. Into health, career, and relationship. So going to the first one, which is health, I'm definitely creating a vision image of what I want to look like or how I want to look like. And I'm going to keep them as strategic places where I'm going to see them every day. Two things I'm focusing on right here is nutrition and body exercise. Now, as regards nutrition, I'm definitely going to have an image of the kind of food I want to eat. Now, I'm going to be focusing more on veggies and fruits, cutting down on junk foods. Now, that is how I want it to be for me this year. And in the part of exercise, I'm sure going to have a journal to track how I'm exercising every day. That is, I'm tracking it to track it. I'm definitely focusing on resistance training and strength. That is what I'm focusing on because I want to build my body strength. I want to be flexible. And that's the kind of physique that I'm looking forward to getting or achieving. So I'm going to be focusing on this. How I'm going to do this is planning out how I'm going to exercise every day. And this starts from the time I wake up and having a particular spot where I exercise. Like, I might not be going to the gym, but if I have a person to come to go to the gym, I'm sure going to the gym. So everything I'm doing might be within my space. It's not very comfortable for me, but obviously I'm diving all in. So waking up early and having this part where I do my exercise. Now the next thing I do is, like, it's almost like killing two birds with a stone. Once I want to exercise or I'm doing an exercise, I like to listen to podcasts. And I'm also going to be doing that this year. So I'm going to be putting on my podcast. And that helps me in my exercising. So listen to podcasts and exercising. And then focusing on the kind of meals that I'm going to be eating and cutting down on junk food this year. So one thing here is taking your time and following the steps little by little now you must not you know most people when they're trying to exercise they want to do everything at once like taking 50 or 100 push-ups and you know it's gonna be difficult for you so all you have to do is take your time and take them little by little so if 50 push-ups is gonna be very difficult for you you can focus on doing 10 push-ups a day and with time when you begin or when your body begins to master that you can now increase the push-ups now this is how i'm going to be doing it this year as well if it's difficult for me in the beginning i'm sure gonna break it down to make it easier for me to follow so simpler steps and like i said i'm gonna be journaling everything down so if you're gonna be following this this step just like me this is what you should also do so you track it to crack it, like I said initially. So that is how you should do it as well. Or oh, that is also how I'm going to be doing it. 
you just have to train your body to get used to it i'm gonna exercise more this year and i'm gonna be eating healthy this year as well so <laughs> second one is career for that career we have work finance mission growth so i'm gonna itemize them like it seems like it's already in progress that's how i'm gonna write it now for example i will say or i will write i'm a successful social media manager in 2024 i'm making social amount this month i am taking this course as it will get me more enlightened in this particular field and in all i'm sure I'm gonna find joy in doing all these things that i want to do so i'm gonna make daily and weekly plans on how i want everything to roll out on how i want my day to be as regards my career so this also entails the work that i do how i'm gonna do them my plan for the day what comes next when it comes to my work when it comes to the course i have to take when it comes to learning when it comes to my personal brand so i'm definitely gonna list out or plan out how i'm gonna do all this every day every week and i'm sure I'm gonna keep a record as regards all this i'm going through them daily it's all gonna be in my journal and also a planner so if you want to follow through you should make sure that you get a journal and get a planner to help you plan out how you want the day to be how you want it to go things you want to do during the day so if you have it all planned out and have it all handy with you it helps you to know what to do what next to do and have a flow through with the time that will help you form a habit and if you stay consistent with it in the first one week two weeks three weeks you will sure get used to it so that is how i'm gonna be doing it or that's how i'm gonna be planning it as regards this particular area of my life that is in the career area of my life so i'm sure having out or itemizing everything i'm gonna do and then planning it out in a way that is gonna be easier for me to follow through and not have lapses okay so everything is gonna be going as regards or according to the goals that i have and my vision as well so the next is relationship and under relationship we have switch relationship with god family friends and the way i want to nurture these relationships is let me say it was great last year but this year i want it to be best i want it to be more than best now as regards which relationship with god i want to have a very deep 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 connection with god and i'm already kind of putting it down on how i want it to be so it's gonna be like a repetitive daily routine and um, which is always it's gonna be like a habit for me so i want to build this deep connection with god and i'm already writing down how i want it to be which entails the way i pray and how i pray even the time that i pray like morning and evening cannot be missed out yes yes so i already written down my prayer life and how i want it to be this year starting from the first quarter so having a devotional is also gonna help so if you also want to build a great relationship with god having a devotional your bible and having a gratitude journal is sure gonna help you if you plan on building a strong relationship with god and as regards as friends and families spending more time with my friends this year is sure gonna be the goal including my family as well and if i spend like 50 percent with my family i'm gonna spend like 80 90 to 100 percent with my family this year and if, even if my siblings might be staying close together i will definitely find a way to reach out to them and as regards my friends <laughs> most times it gets difficult because we all get caught up with life that we forget most or we forget our friends in the process and at the time we come and be saying hey you forgot me like i have to remove that mindset of telling people hey you forgot about me and all that kind of stuff now if i remember you i have to reach out to you now i've planned in a way that i have to try to reach out to my friends at the beginning or at the end of every month now this even give us a time to share our experiences within the month or our new or what we are planning to do for the next month it could be via call it could be via chat and i am gonna be doing this this year 
that's how i planned out to do it and aside from reaching out to be a color chat hanging out as well also helped because when you see the person physically you you know there's a lot to talk about there's a lot you you, you feel that physical connection with your friends you get so that is how it's gonna be for me this year connecting with my friends then those who are far away from me reaching out via video conference call and dropping the chat maybe within the month i can drop a chat but for people that we do not communicate often having that lengthy chat at the beginning or at the end of every month is how it's gonna be for me so this is how i'm doing it this year now you can have a different plan for yourself or a different strategy i am just listening out what i'm gonna be doing this year as regards the way i want to build my relationships now there could be more as the year goes out there will be more to add into how i want to strategically maintain the relationships that i have built and learning more in the process because every day we learn <laughs> Yeah, so this is how I'm gonna be doing this. You might have a different plan for yourself. I'm not saying you should do what I'm doing. I am just sharing what I am gonna be doing this year in maintaining the kind of relationships that I have and connecting more with people. Now, it's not just looking for people to connect with. How about the ones you have connected with? How are you maintaining the relationships with them? Okay, so that is how I'm gonna be doing this. Step. Trying to maintain the relationships that I have built so far. So you might have a different plan. I'm not here to make you change your plan. I'm just sharing my own plans for this year. Now, consistency might seem difficult, but you can do it. All you have to do is try to find joy in everything that you do. Now, as you guys planning, you need to have a planner or a journal or a diary where you can write that things. That helps make it handy. Or like having just or flowing through with the notepad in your phone. Like, most times it can get distracting but having something handy can help you in your plans and helping you you know stay focused on it so divide your goals into areas you want to work on just like the ones i mentioned earlier in the video now you might have your own goals and your own plans just divide them in a way that is easier for you to follow in a way that's easier for you to focus on and make sure that you accomplish everything that you want you can use this to um the wheel of life i learned this from ali abdas video as well and also from one of my friends who is a coach using this tool can help you know areas to improve on now just like i mentioned above those are the three areas i want to focus on right now or in this year now your area could be different now you can use the wheel of life to know or to find out areas you need to improve on as regards your relationship your career personal growth work health you know and then attach numbers to it from one to ten one being the least i have to give numbers to each of these areas based on where you have improved on and where you need to improve on now if you want to focus more on health last year how how was your health life like was it we say it's a 10 over 10 or we say is a 1 over 10 so you know by it that way that will help you to know areas you need to improve on and areas that you need to add more strength to okay so evaluate yourself on areas that have improved on and areas that you need to improve on this year i believe in you and i know that you can do this so that's all for this video and if you enter the new year and you know there are definitely some habits you need to leave behind you need to leave them behind now i dropped a video on certain habits you should leave behind i'll be dropping it or leaving it anywhere in this video so click on it to watch it and i'll see you in the next one